Good morning, friends. Morning. Cheers. Cheers. This morning we got up really early and made it up here to what they call Sunset Point, but it's also good for sunrise. And what are we doing? And watch the hot air balloons behind us. Should be pretty exciting. We didn't know if they were going to take off today, but they are. That's yeah, a great view. So we'll uh, get to it and show you what they do. Cheers. Cheers. That was so worth getting up at four in the morning. That was incredible. Yeah, you have to get here about 45 minutes before to start getting a spot. It's a little bit of a hike up, probably about 10, 15 minutes. So uh, depending on where you're coming from. Yeah, and there were a lot of people here, but it's kind of a big but small area in a way. So you don't really ever feel like you're in the way of someone. And a tip, if you see a couple trying to take a picture, offer to take a picture for them, because then they'll take a picture for you which is something we always try to do to be nice. I stopped at this local coffee shop called Hopper. I got a soy latte, we got some pistachio cake, and Lemon got some cold brew. And look how cute these mugs are that they sell. They're handmade with little hot air balloons on them. I think they were 260 lira. Uh, we won't be buying one because these won't fit in our backpacks. They'll probably break. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we don't have a whole lot planned for today. We're going to kind of relax because we pushed ourselves really hard yesterday. So we're going to fuel up and then we'll see what we get into. So we got the pistachio dream. Like chocolate and some kind of cream and pistachios, make it pistachio dream. I believe so. This is cool. Look at the view. This is way cool. All right, friends, it is the, it is our last day here in Cappadocia, and it wouldn't be an Evan and Lemon video without some cocktails. So we've come to the uh, bar called Dusk by Coza at the Coza Hotel. We were trying to come here, right? Yeah, last three days, but it's been raining. It's open air, obviously, so I only open when it's nice out. Yeah, so we made a reservation. The owners are super nice, um, Lisa and Tama. Tama? I believe so. Yes. I'll let you say it wrong. <laughs> Lisa and Tama. Uh, I think he's from New Zealand and she's from Australia. Um, and they're, they run this bar and then their family like runs the hotel. It's very cool. Uh, they source a lot of the uh, most ingredients locally here too. So we're really looking forward to trying some cocktails.
Turkish mojito is what I ordered. And it's made with like white chocolate syrup, white rum, mint, and lime juice. And it's, Turkish delight. Yeah, there's a Turkish delight on the garnish. Ooh. It's so refreshing. It's so tasty. 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's really interesting when you eat the Turkish Delight and then take a sip of the drink, like all the flavors really come together. And I love that they're using paper straws. Save the turtles. Very tasty. Like every night here is Friday, Saturday night. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Because everyone sways on holiday. Yeah, that's, oh, that's true. Good point. sugar and water and it's just steeped mm. for like 48 to 72 hours and the result comes out like quite coconutty like Ooh. what you completely wouldn't expect it does smell like exactly like a coconut like you just chopped a coconut open wow Is that like a powdered sugar on the leaves? Ah, yeah. very cool. Got the fig smash. Oh yeah. Not very good on the descriptions. <laughs> you want me to, do you want me to try yeah. it? Okay. Oh, that is tasty. Definitely like a, a sunny summertime drink. The bourbon is like, you can taste that it's there, but you get more of the flavor from like all of the ingredients kind of coming together, um, especially that fig syrup that they used is very tasty there's lemon and mint in there as well i could easily down like four or five of these but i'll put it down so lemon can have it <laughs> we'd like to say a big thank you to our friend dylan mealy cheers dylan thank you for buying us these drinks uh, it was recently lemon's birthday and uh, he sent it as a gift so cheers thank you friend thanks dylan drinks were so tasty that we got two more. Cheers, what'd you get? Turkish tea, got bourbon, mm. trambouille, and Turkish tea. Mm. And I got like a pink gin fizz with Prosecco, strawberry, and pink gin and lemon juice. Pretty tasty. But now we gotta drink up because we have to catch our bus in about 30 minutes, so <laughs> cheers. Cheers. All right, so we're about to take some shots of this new Jaeger we haven't seen before. Looks like it's barrel aged. And we've convinced the owners to take a shot with us. I know you guys try to do a lot of a lot of different things. And yeah. I feel like have you had the before right here? You guys go as much as you want, but I'll have mine one then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you and a little Jaeger shot glasses. Cool. Oh my god. I haven't poured a drink in a very long time. It's okay. So you want you want a small one or a big one? Evan's bartender skills are slipping, spilling everywhere. <laughs> There's no pour spout in it. I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, we're on the bus. Twelve hours. Be in Istanbul again. Wish us luck. See you there. Say it one more time. Pistachio. Evan, would you like to try some pistachio drink? It's really interesting with the Turkish delight, like when you eat it and then take a sip. Should I be telling you that? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> How's your hair? Tangly. It was windy. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> I don't think it's tracking. Uh -huh.